Morton, many congratulations. Another uh, great round of golf. Uh, seven under par 65 today, first yeah. round at the uh, Alfred Dunhill Championship. Uh, golf's an easy game? Uh, I mean, yes, today it was, it was it seemed easy, but it I mean, definitely wasn't. It was pretty tough out there. Uh, there's The course was playing uh, pretty long uh, with the wind and everything, and it was kind of, you know, cold today compared to the other days as well. So. I mean, it wasn't say I didn't wouldn't say it was golf was easy, but I mean, I played really solid, and my, my approach game was was really good, and I gave myself a lot again again a lot a lot of looks at birdie and a lot of shorter ones as well, so that was nice. Talking about your approach game, what were you thinking with that shot second shot on 18? Uh, you know, I, I got I got I got pretty lucky with with a good good lie in the rough there, and uh, you know it was that win, so I mean, I, I was just thinking flying it flying it to the front part of the green, and uh, I, you know, and then chase up to the pin a little bit. And, Worked out perfectly. So that, that what, did, nice. what did you use out of the rough there? Uh, it was a five iron. So mm. uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, if there were, there really, you, had, you had the chance to get a really long drive out there today because it was downwind and maybe give yourself a seven or eight iron in there. So that was what I was trying to do, but uh, but I didn't really really catch the drive. But uh, still got really lucky with the with the lie. So I still managed to get up to five iron on the green. Do you know a bit of a history of of, of uh, second shots into the 18th year? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've sort of seen and, and heard about it, and uh, but I mean, the greens are a little bit more receptive than I think. I think they've they've been in the years past. So uh, you know, you, you can still land a, a shot from the rough like that from a good lie. You can still land it on the green and and, uh, and and stop it. So uh, that was that was just what I was trying to do and pull it off. Uh, do you get a sense that your game is on such a roll at the moment that you just need to capitalise on every opportunity you get now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, I was, I'm, I've got a, I've got a bunch of confidence right now. Uh, I mean, yeah, I really, really believe that I'm going to hit good shots and and every, I'm pretty much on, on on every shot. And you know, it's not I don't pull pull off all of them. I mean, I hit some bad. I mean, not bad, I mean, not so good shots out there today as well. I mean, I hit a, hit hit my tee ball in, on number seven in the water and. And there was a couple other uh, a shot that didn't come off right, but uh, I mean, m the majority of them came, came off well, and I really rolled in some, some nice shorter putts from inside 10 feet, so was, that was good. I think it was on 15 that you, your tee shot went went right into some really heavy rough as well. Uh, oh, 17. 17. 17, 17 yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I had a really poor drive there, uh, just a just you know a little bit of mental lapse as well, and, and, and I could, luckily for me, I could chop it out in the, in the rough and. Probably hit my the shot of the day from my third shot, a five iron from a from 175 meters, just to eight ten feet, and, and made that for par. So that was that was that was big coming down the last hole, gave you a massive boost down there in the last last hole, and to go down there and, and make a four and cap off the round the right way. And we all know, and you know, that uh, the first round doesn't make the whole tournament, but uh, you must feel pretty good about where you are right now. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I mean, it's, I, I'm really really happy with how I played this week. I mean, it's. I mean, obviously, I haven't tried it before, but I heard from people that it's tough to come out after the, the week after you, you've won and to come out in the next tournament and, and play well. But I mean, I, I felt really good, and I actually felt pretty, pretty relaxed in the, in the days leading up to the tournament. And uh, you know, I just I just wanted to go out there and see if I can I can I could uh, just put some solid shots together and put a decent some decent rounds together. And, and I, I really managed to do that today and uh, and uh, and put myself in a good position. So hopefully, I can keep it up for now. Nice questions. Talking about not putting pressure on yourself this week, to is that, is that the way to to approach it? Is that, does that the 65 come from that? Not putting any pressure on yourself? Yeah, I, th I think so. I mean, I mean, I, I wasn't I wasn't expecting to to go out and shoot 65 today, or, or I mean, I was I mean I knew I was playing well, so I was I was hoping I could put some, some a decent round together. But you know, as I said, I mean, I, w I already won last week, so I'm over the moon happy already. So I mean, everything that happens this week or next week is just going to be. Icing, icing on the cakes, you sort of say. So, uh, so I mean, I'm, I'm just, uh, yeah, just really happy with how nice I started. Nice position to be yeah. in, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just enjoy, trying to enjoy the ride. What do you think of the course? Uh, I, I, as I, as I, as I told you guys yesterday as well, it's, it's, I just love the course. It's probably, it's one of my favorites of the, the whole year. Definitely a top three, and uh, you know that that back nine is, is probably, yeah, my, my, my favorite nine, nine holes, and we play all year. That's. Anything you can mean you can shoot anything from 30 to 40 on that back nine, and there's just so many exciting shots with with water and the par fives you can go for in two, and, and yeah, I just I just I mean, just the co the course in, in, in total, I just I, I just love it. So I, yeah, it, I, hopefully it's a tournament I'm gonna come to many years many years in the future. So. Did you have to change, change your strategy quite a bit with the conditions that I completed over the other days? Yeah, I mean, the conditions were quite different from, from the practice days. Uh, it was a lot more windy and it was colder as well. So, I mean, uh, the, 
first couple of days when I played, I, I think we've, I, I mean, I was, and obviously we're not at altitude anymore, but I, I was still counting the ball to go a little bit farther with the heat and stuff like that. But today was pretty much going the same distance as, 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 as back home in, in Europe and Denmark. So, uh, so I, that was me. Maybe that played into my fa favor a little bit as well. But you know, I it was you had to just adjust to it in the first couple of holes and, and just you know be ready to hit some knockdown shots and, and try and to try and try and, uh, and, and use use the wind and not fight it too much. You uh, saw it on TV. You were just smiling away. Yeah. Um, is it much easier to keep your head clear and just kind of almost play like it always seemed like a social game of golf for you today? Is that is the wind affecting that? Yeah, I, I, I would say so. I mean, I, I mean, as I said, it's, it's everything that happened this week is just a bonus. I mean, I and I, and I, I got a great group group today with with, with Ross and, and and Richard, and they, they were just so so nice to me, and we had a really really good time out there, and we were just chatting away. And I mean, I mean, obviously Richard didn't didn't play his best today. He was yeah, he had a he had a day where everything didn't. Or, a lot of things didn't go his way, so but I'm sure he's gonna try and, or I'm sure he's gonna bounce back tomorrow. So it was, yeah, it was just really enjoyable. I mean, obviously I, I'd never played with those guys before, so they were, they were really, really nice to me and really welcoming, and and just you know, were willing, willing to, to chat with me as well.